My grandmother is an avid gardener. She's very proud and she's very protective of her flower garden. It's for this reason that she hates dandelions. One pops up in your garden and it very quickly spreads and infests the entire thing. Now dandelions spread by shedding their seeds into the air. Once airborne, the seeds float to distant locations of the garden, implant themselves, and grow into new dandelions which shed their seeds, and so the process continues. Now, I'm a physicist, not a gardener. What does my project have to do with dandelions? It turns out that cancer in the body spreads a lot like a dandelion in a garden. As a tumor grows and develops, it begins to shed cancer seeds into the bloodstream. These seeds are transported throughout the body where they can come to rest in distant organs and grow into new tumors, a process which is known as metastasis. Now, early in the tumor developmental cycle, long before patients begin to display any symptoms, these cancer seeds can be found in the blood. However, they're extremely hard to detect. The purpose of my PhD research is to develop a novel methodology that uses sound waves to listen for the presence of cancer cells in a blood sample. Now, hold on, you might say, how do you listen to a cancer cell? Well, it's a little bit like listening to someone play the drums. When you strike a drum with a drumstick, it vibrates and emits a sound. Now, the sound that the drum produces depends on both the size and the shape of the drum that you hit. It's for this reason that a bass drum sounds different than a snare drum or a pair of bongos. Now, my technique is a little bit different. I strike cells with laser beams. This causes the cell to heat up, expand, and emit a sound wave. Now, just like in the case with the drums, each sound wave that the cell produces is dependent on the size and the shape of the cell. And so all cells have a unique sound that can be used for identification purposes. Our lab has already been able to demonstrate that we can differentiate between red blood cells and white blood cells, which are the healthy cells in your body, from melanoma cancer cells. Recently, I've also been able to show that by listening to sounds produced by structures within the cells themselves, like the cell nucleus or brain, you can differentiate between different types of cancer cells. Going forward, we hope to integrate this into a device that's capable of listening to thousands of cells per second, with the ultimate goal of analyzing a blood sample for the presence of cancer. If cancer can be detected early, before the tumor begins to spread to other locations in the body, the five-year survival rate for many types of common cancers, like breast cancer, colorectal cancer, and prostate cancers, are all well above 90%. It is my hope that by listening to the seeds of cancer in a blood sample, we can realize a new method for early detection of cancer that will give uh, doctors many more treatment options and ultimately save lives. Thank you.